Not all monsters have giant hands and fangs. Some are just scary, dark and gluttonous eaters that swallow everything that dares cross their path. Like a long and dark tunnel, this mystery region in space has so much gravity that not even light can escape. What really is inside the black hole? Space is full of mysteries, and exploring it involves many difficulties. Dark matter and dark energy are simply a fraction of the hundreds of other universe theories that scientists are yet to uncover. With XMM Newton, these folks have been able to see things that have been hidden from the eye for centuries. Now black holes are no longer a mystery to unravel, but a mind-blowing discovery to ponder over. Sometimes the most gluttonous beasts are some of the most mind-boggling things in space. Within the constellation of Sagittarius lies a huge black hole, more like an abyss. You cannot see the end from the beginning. Its gravity is so strong and so much matter has been pulled into this tragic hole. Studies say there could be more than 40 trillion black holes with around 1% of the overall ordinary matter locked up within them. But what's more surprising is how this tiny space does not just have the energy to kill a star, but if a human were to cross its path, the intense gravity would squeeze it into a ribbon. This isn't just another science fiction, it's a classic horror tale of the point of no return. As the results are being confirmed and considered true, we're pushed to rethink our understanding of our universe, what lies in it, and the effect it will have on us in the long run. Lying at the center of gravity is a region of space-time with masses that equal billions of suns, a place where gravity gains dominance, the messy eater. Many doubted Albert Einstein's theory of relativity in 1916, but when the tiny space evolved 50 years later and got the name Black Hole, mouths gasped in awe at the mystery. Getting to know that a strange interaction happens between the quantum fields of our universe, barriers of the event horizon, and springs forth a space that weighs a billion times more than the Sun in the heart of gravity is indeed intriguing. Black holes have two parts. The event horizon, which you can think of as the surface, though it's simply the point where gravity becomes too powerful for anything to escape. And then at the center is the singularity, the point that is infinitely small and infinitely dense. Thanks to Einstein, we know what's on the surface of a black hole, but the singularity has been a mystery for ages. The more astronomers try to unravel it, the less they could understand. The point of no return is believed to have evolved from collapsed stars that die in a supernova explosion, producing a ripple effect. Kind of like throwing a pebble into the river. It starts small, but it continues to ripple until the furthest drop of water is touched. The star cluster then sinks to the bottom of the galaxy and forms a giant black hole. There are two theories that explain how a black hole is formed. According to the first, the black hole is formed from the first generation of stars that collapsed and died. The second theory opposes and tells us that black holes are not related to dead stars in any way. Though these theories have left astronomers confused, they're not giving up their search to discover the mystery of this point of no return. The mysterious hole that eats up material sits about 26,000 light years from the Earth. Though it formed in our Milky Way, its existence is yet to be understood. Astronomers first saw signs of a black hole when a sounding rocket detected the celestial sources of X-rays in 1964. After the first sign of this mysterious hole was seen, the first image of it was captured by the Event Horizon Telescope, a collaboration that formed to become the Global Radio of Synchronized Observations. To scientists then, the photo was really thrilling. Away from the first sign and first image, the real discovery happened within the Milky Way in the constellation of Cygnus the Swan. This occurred in 1971, when the stars had reached the end of their circle. Astronomers determined that the X-rays were coming from a bright blue star orbiting a weird object that looked deadly. 
They soon came together and suggested that the detected X-rays resulted from stellar materials that stripped away from the bright star in the Milky Way, unlucky to be consumed by a mysterious dark hole. Supermassive black holes have masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of our Sun. As far as we can tell, practically every galaxy in the cosmos has one of these supermassive black holes as a seed in its center, including our own Milky Way. And they are connected. A larger galaxy has a larger black hole, whereas a smaller galaxy has a smaller black hole. The closest black hole to Earth is nicknamed the Unicorn. It is approximately 1,500 light-years away from Earth. The nickname has a double meaning because the black hole doesn't only reside in the constellation of Monoceros, it has an incredibly low mass that's almost like the Sun. Watch out, it's about to get a lot crazier. Black holes are notoriously hard to detect and usually give astronomers a hard time because they are as black as the space that surrounds them. To detect a black hole, you can only pinpoint them in an extraordinary situation. For instance, when they pull down gas from a nearby star, merge the star together, or release a flood of gravitational waves that holds everything it finds around spellbound. What did astronomers find inside this never-ending tunnel? Gravity is the strongest form inside a black hole. Over time, it has gained dominance that it eats anything that enters it. It doesn't matter if it's the ever-shining star that enters the black hole or the gas that escapes with a slight mistake. Everything that falls into a black hole meets its death. No way to escape. Black holes can be messy eaters. Some of the gas and matter that miss their way into it as objects are being ripped apart. Sometimes the force becomes so powerful that it forms jets and winds that shoot outwards within a blink of an eye. This speed affects our Milky Way big time. Also, these jets can blow apart nearby stars and planets and even go as far as providing the right amount of materials needed to make new stars. The black hole is at the center of our Milky Way. When the stars and galaxies move, it doesn't just mean that something edible has fallen into the black hole's ever-hungry open mouth. Being at the galaxy's center, this messy eater mostly feeds on interstellar gas and dust drifting around. Telescopes have helped us discover that they also eat stars and gas from other neighboring planets. But black holes aren't void, as most people may think. When matter gets into the black hole, it gets torn apart into the smallest subatomic materials that gravity will later squeeze into one, thus preventing it from escaping. Time is another unlucky element that cannot escape a black hole. When you take time near a black hole, it becomes extremely slow, then stops completely after a while. So, when you're near a black hole, you have no idea what time it is, and once you get inside, you're lost forever. But then, does this black hole have the superpower as portrayed? Should we fret about the fact that it can swallow the entire universe and turn us all into nothing in split seconds? Well, not at all. The theories about black holes are believable. This messy eater is always hungry and can swallow up anything unluckily caught in its web, but the entire universe isn't a part of it. Yes, they grow larger over time as they swallow up gas, stars, planets, and even other black holes that haven't formed better than they should, making them extra large. Even with that, it can't eat up the universe. It can only revolve around it. Eventually, through a radiation known as Hawking radiation, the black hole can be defeated and caused to evaporate. But that's almost not possible because it will take longer than the entire universe for that to happen. And when one black hole disappears, another soon forms. Let's face it, just as hell lacks no fury, this supermassive black hole that eats up just about anything and everything has so much going on for it. Imagine us being trapped and squeezed into a ribbon inside the black hole. Scary. But astronomers say we shouldn't fret. Black holes cannot destroy our planet. 
not even in a lifetime.